Welcome to Fishing Diary. 80 Gill successfully disables whaling factory ship. Whale wars. The Sea Shepherd Conservation Society's efforts to prevent the killing of whales for business purposes are showcased in the thrilling television series Whale Wars. The Sea Shepherd vessel 80 Gill, an impressive trimaran, achieved an extraordinary accomplishment by preventing a killing factory ship from operating in one important occurrence. The occurrence received broad coverage in the media. The endangerment of marine ecosystems and whale populations globally is still prevalent, largely due to commercial whaling. The Sea Shepherd Conservation Society has been leading the fight. They are using direct action to stop whaling and bring this issue to the attention of people all over the world. The sleek and nimble 80 gill had great significance for their plans. In this video, we will accentuate the paramount conflict between the 80 gill and a factory ship that hunts whales. It discusses commercial whaling history and Sea Shepherd's work. Using 80 gill in their protests against whaling can be clarified by this as well. The outline describes how the 80 gill disabled the whaling ship through brave means, with subsequent debates surrounding both legal and moral dimensions. In the long run, the event may hinder endeavors made towards halting whaling. The controversial topic of commercial whaling has been an enduring issue majorly threatening whale populations and marine environments globally. To keep the balance of the seas, beautiful animals such as whales are crucial. Numerous species have been brought close to extinction from searching for their valuable resources like meat, oil, and fat. With the objective of fighting industrial whaling, the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society, an international nonprofit group, has been at the forefront of this effort. Sea Shepherd was founded in 1977 and it utilizes direct action to safeguard whales and other marine life forms. Their efforts have been widely supported and praised by the public. Whale hunting is hindered by them while at sea. The 80 Gill, a high-speed trimaran built to stop whale hunting, is one of Sea Shepherd's most famous boats. Sea Shepherd is defending marine wildlife. The individual whose name this technologically innovative ship bears had a profound love and care for the environment a great tool for stopping whaling ships and fighting with them. It features a sleek form along with high-tech functionalities. Sea Shepherd and 80 Gill's goal is to gather proof against commercial whaling's illegal and unsustainable practices by drawing attention to it. They confront whalers directly too. They intend to urge stronger rules and expanded global preservation of these beautiful creatures. It is explained why the fight against commercial whaling still persists, and Sea Shepherd is introduced as a major environmental group. It indicates the value of 80 Gill's objective to defend whales. The occurrence of the fight between the 80 Gill and a factory ship that hunted whales was very significant. It occurred in the ocean. The pursuit and engagement strategy of 80 Gill with the whaling ship were showcased. It attempted to stop and harm the vessel used for hunting whales. Sea Shepherd's crew meticulously planned the halt. They employed their awareness of the operations and motions of the whale ship. With better speed and turning capabilities, thanks to the 80 gill, their plan was to decrease the distance between the two vessels. Their anticipation was to have a favorable position for assisting. Cat and Mouse was the game played by 80 gill and the whaling factory ship, which was quite dangerous. The hazardous waters were carefully traversed by the 80 gill to approach them. The 80 gill crew exhibited an abundance of determination and motivation. To prevent environmental harm caused by whaling activities, they went beyond their limits. A struggle of determination took place between both ships during the fight. The 80 gill attempted several methods to halt the whaling ship's operation. Measures taken to halt whaling included techniques such as getting too close, non-lethal repellents, and technological employment. The courage and intelligence demonstrated by the Sea Shepherd crew during the 80 gill versus factory ship battle were remarkable. To save the lives of whales, they endangered themselves. It revealed the struggle to protect these stunning creatures. The exhibit illustrated the struggles of obtaining justice at sea. 80 gill's fight against the whaling factory ship aimed primarily to put a stop to its activities. The aspiration was also to impede it from pursuing its injurious labor. The 80 Gill crew achieved their objective through wise and accurate maneuvers. 80 Gill's prevention of the whaling factory vessel's work represented effective nonviolent resistance.
The potency of activism during times of environmental peril is exemplified in this sentence. The significant triumph was a noteworthy stride in the campaign against commercial whaling. The provision of greater encouragement empowered individuals to persist in their endeavors towards self-protection. After disabling a whale factory ship successfully, the 80 Gill led to numerous legal and ethical debates. In terms of what actions should be taken, Sea Shepherd and 80 Gill's actions brought about speculation on the extent of direct action and international law. The protection of the environment presents moral problems, as they also observed. Legal debates ensued concerning the acceptance of Sea Shepherd's methods in light of the incident. International regulations exist for commercial hunting. To exceed what was widely viewed as proper conduct at sea, Sea Shepherd utilized direct action strategies like obstructing vessels and implementing non-lethal measures. Certain individuals maintained that their behavior qualified as piracy or vigilantism, yet others argued that it was the exclusive way of ensuring adherence to conservation regulations. On an ethical level, the incident inspired the discussion about the ethics of direct action in protecting. Critics argued that getting into fights while at sea endangered human lives and infringed on the rights of people engaged in whaling activities. They suggested giving more attention to other methods, such as diplomatic talks and legal channels. Alternatively, proponents of Sea Shepherd asserted that the organization's actions were essential to defending endangered wildlife. They were also convinced that it might push people to meet their environmental moral obligations. The event revealed how intricate the connection between international law and moral concerns can be. Marine life needs urgent protection measures. The issue of how to effectively handle conservation problems in compliance with the law initiated several continuous discussions and disagreements. Creating a sustainable future requires maintaining ethical standards. The 80 Gill prevented a factory ship from engaging in whale slaughter. This greatly affects conservation efforts in the ocean. The function proved how potent direct action can be, and people were motivated to protect whales. The result was a desire among people to keep marine areas healthy. Sea Shepherd and its supporters continued their efforts to halt industrial whaling after this successful mission. The whaling factory ship assault by the 80 Gill provided valuable insights and lessons. In subsequent endeavors to cease whaling, they were employed. New projects were initiated by Sea Shepherd utilizing the momentum generated from the event. These projects encompass campaigns designed to increase worldwide awareness, initiatives aimed at enacting stronger policies, and collaborations with other conservation groups. Additionally, the occasion has compelled diplomats to put in more effort towards resolving the issue of global commercial killing. Governing bodies and environmental advocates collaborated to promote... Man, we miss them up. We, we don't. They devised novel means to prohibit the practice. 80 Gill's actions caused political talks and discussions to ensue. They highlighted the imperative to safeguard whales in various ways. The event once more brought attention to the value of using sustainable methods. Keeping marine environments healthy over time is crucial. The outcome has initiated additional conversations about the relationships between different species. The importance of whales in balancing the ecosystem was also highlighted. The 80 Gill succeeded in providing a more thorough comprehension of the value of marine biodiversity. Efforts towards conservation must transcend the safeguarding of just individual species, as emphasized by the study. The legacy of 80 Gill's accomplishments moves forward by inspiring continued action. It reminds us that continued vigilance and commitment are needed to fight commercial whaling and safeguard marine animals. Through collective action, miles off the Antarctic coast, I think they just made the biggest mistake of their lives. It instigated supplementary alliances, inquiries, and activism regarding marine protection. The 80 Guild disabling of the whaling factory ship ultimately left an indelible mark on the conservation landscape. As a symbol of hope and resilience in the ongoing struggle to safeguard our oceans and their inhabitants, it inspired a new generation of environmental activists. Direct action in marine conservation proved to be highly effective, with the 80 Gill successfully disabling a whaling factory ship, demonstrating great determination and power. The fight against commercial whaling has been significantly impacted thanks to the noteworthy accomplishments of the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society. It functions as a sign of hope and strength, motivating persistent attempts at whale conservation and marine ecosystem preservation.
The momentum behind sustainable practices worldwide is sustained by the legacy of 80 Gill's mission. Our ocean's preservation is also promoted by it. So if you like the video, then do like, share, and subscribe to our channel.